2,563 civilians from 90 different countries lost their lives on that fateful day. The Pentagon lost 125 personnel, including 55 military personnel. All four planes from which there were no survivors had 246 souls on board. Never forgot. Scenes from Fort Meade's firehouse in this year's 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony. More from the ceremony a little bit later. Hello and welcome to Me Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, highlights from the Installation Housing Town Hall. The Army releases results from Housing Satisfaction Survey. And new Enterprise EFMP system is here. These stories and more, but first, as I mentioned a moment ago, the Army released the results of this year's Housing Tenant Satisfaction Survey recently. At this week's Town Hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp opened with some comments on the survey. I'm an Intel analyst by trade, so I love to dig into data. Uh, unfortunately, the problem with things like surveys is we can't always tell where, what someone was thinking when they answered it. So I hope that all of you out there can be my sensors to help tell me uh, if you answered the survey, what were you thinking when you said this was wrong, this was right, and it goes both directions. Because what I don't want to do is as we try to tackle these problems that we've identified, take our eye off of the things that were going right, and then suddenly start pulling resources from what you love to tackle things that you hate, and now it's the exact same survey, but the opposite issues. The Colonel was joined by representatives from Corvius Military Family Housing and the Army Housing Office. You can watch the entire brief and Q&A on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Meanwhile, let's take a brief look at the survey results and where Fort Meade fell in. Throughout the Army, privatized housing received an overall score of 73.7 out of 100. That's a slight decrease from last year. 26 installations with privatized housing saw decreases in scores, that includes Fort Meade, while 16 saw increased scores. Customer satisfaction with privatized housing for unaccompanied personnel received an overall score of 86.6. Fort Meade's unaccompanied housing earned an above average score of 77.8. Fort Meade's overall numbers look like this, 69.8 in overall satisfaction, 69.5 in satisfaction with services, and 68.8 in satisfaction with property related issues. Overall, Fort Meade's results show a drop of 4.3 points from a year ago. 70 to 74 was considered an average result. You can read all the results of the survey by going to www.army.mil slash housing.html. In MWR News, Parent and Outreach Services, where you register for all the Child and Youth Services programs, recently relocated from 1900 Reese Road to 4550 Parade Field Lane. You just walk past the doors to Fort Meade's One Stop and take the elevator to the third floor. Parent and Outreach Services is located in room 331. Reminder, you need to make an appointment for service. Call 301-677-1149 or 1156. In other news, the Army announced a new Enterprise Exceptional Family Member Program earlier this week. The new system is designed to streamline your experience with new features that provide security and access at the touch of a smartphone button. For more information on the Army Exceptional Family Member Program, you can go to their website at efmp.army.mil slash enterprise efmp. One final reminder, the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade Cyber and the Odenton Regional Library are hosting Hackathon 2, an opportunity for teenage youth to advance through video game levels and increase hacking skills. Participation is limited to 20 and you must register. Contact the Odenton Library for more information. We close this week with more from the Fort Meade Directorate of Emergency Services and this year's 9-11 Remembrance. That's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week. The ringing of the bell represents the end of the emergency and the return to quarters. And is usually the ringing of the bell three times for a series of three. Therefore, the bell will ring in memory of all those who died during the attack on September 11th 2001. And so to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow Americans, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our fallen comrades, their last alarm, they're going home.